Student engagement data was recently collected at our school. Through the data, we've constructed an elaborate plan for how to use this data to guide our instructional practice. Our goal is to increase student and track rates through faculty collaboration around student engagement in higher order and deeper thinking. The way we collected data around student engagement, we'll explain now. We'll explain what our data procedure looked like and how we measured our results. Category one of our engagement collection data was complete disengagement. This is when a majority of students in the classroom were not engaged in the learning taking place during a particular lesson. Category two was categorized when students were engaged, but the teacher was maybe not. Category three, which was student work with teacher engaged, typically was seen when students were doing worksheets and the teacher was walking around supporting individual students. Category four was mostly teacher lecture, and that was categorized as teacher-led instruction. Categories five and six changed slightly. Category five, student learning conversations were student to student verbal interactions. And finally, category six, student active engaged learning is when students were involved in some type of problem-based or exploratory learning. It's important to note that each of these categories has its place in education. Categories five and six required higher order, higher order thinking, meaning the student to student verbal interactions and exploratory learning were students thinking at higher DOK levels. Categories three and four are equally as important as this is the basis of new knowledge and learning new skills. However, these are lower order surface learning. This is when we see teacher lecture and students working on worksheets to hone their skills. In both of these categories, we want to see happening on a daily basis in our instruction. However, Categories one and two, where either teacher or a majority of students are disengaged, is something we want to negate. However, in our data, we saw that this is already at a minimum. So we want to really focus on categories three, four, five, and six, higher order and lower order thinking. The way we collected data was having student or having our data collectors walk through classrooms taking a snapshot of what was occurring in that moment. Our data collectors do not look at expended periods of time, but only that moment when they enter the classroom to view what is happening right then and right there. Data collection has led us to determine that we should work as a staff to increase categories five and six, which are higher order thinking tasks. If we look at our January 2023 data collection cycle, we see that a majority of time was spent in category three in purple, which is students doing worksheets and teacher engaging, and category four, which is teacher-led discussion or teacher lecture. Each core content area determined at our last professional development where they would like to see our numbers move to, as highlighted in the blue. For example, ELA would like to see categories three and four reduced. However, they would like to see their categories five and six is improved. So each core content area moving along our path is from social studies to science. We want to see our yellows move to blues. Our yellow was our last data cycle and our blue were the goals that our teacher staff recommended. 
Our goal for the end of 2024 is a ratio of higher order thinking and lower order thinking to be closer to a one to one ratio, meaning that threes and four categories are close to our five and six category. Our short term goal by February is to increase our categories five and six, our higher order thinking, by 10%. In order to do that, we're going to look at certain things like analysis, critical thinking, problem solving, and synthesizing information. What we would like to see is that teachers implement a gradual of re release of responsibility model in classes two times a week, where classes begin in whole group instruction, transition to small group instruction, and then also transition again to independent learning. These can be categorized as a I do, you do together, we do it, you do it alone. This assures that students have time to spend time in lower order and higher order thinking throughout every class period. Again, our goal, based on our last data collection, is to increase our categories five and six, higher order thinking, student to student verbal interaction, and exploratory learning, while reducing the amount of time that is spent with teacher lecture. For each content area, we have established goals that were driven by each content area. We hope that this provides a healthy step forward in how we are conducting our classes in the future. Thank you for your time.